I used to get the question about my stats a lot, and I think it's because I used to make a lot more MBPHP content. I still do because I think that's why people watch me, but a lot less as of late. And I've also always been really open to sharing them, even though like every time I've shared them, people have something to say about it. Whether that be that my stats give them anxiety, or that they don't think I deserve to be in an MBPHP program because my GPA is too low. I think stats are important, they'll get your foot in the door, but what is more important if you want to get into an MBPHD program is the research hours and the, I guess, productivity that you have in your research. I've actually been explicitly told that you don't need a publication to get into an MBPHD program, but I also think that is extremely, extremely helpful um, to have publications, especially if you're like first author. Um, if you want to get into an MBPHD program. Also, when people read your essays, and I know this because I used to help pre-meds with their essays, um, it's extremely obvious to your readers whether or not you made substantial contributions to a project when they read your significant research experiences essay. Even if you didn't have a first author publication, like from reading that essay, people can tell if you've actually done substantial work. So yeah, stats are important, so I will share them because people tend to be very curious. But I will say the most important thing coming from an application if you're planning on applying to MBPhD is actually the research. And as promised, this is the end of the video, so here are my stats. 